we go, Grace! This is gonna be the <laughs> best vlog, I can already tell. Good morning, you guys. Welcome to my most exciting vlog yet. I am kickstarting a week in my life here in Greece. I visited Greece and stayed in Mykonos for five days when I was studying abroad. I never thought I would be back, but I had the opportunity to sail around on a private yacht for a week, and I couldn't say no. I wanna say a huge thank you from the bottom of my heart because these cool opportunities just keep coming my way thanks to you guys all of your love and support never in a million years that I think I would be doing something like this I am working with a company called Navigare this week and they are a charter company so basically you can book boats that have three people on it five people ten people we are on an eight-person boat right now but it is just Sam and I because unfortunately my college friends couldn't get off of work and Jules ended up having to go home for a job so it's just her and I live in the dream this week we've got a captain John and a hostess Florence who cooks for us and does a little bit of housekeeping and it's just gonna be an incredible week so yeah we're gonna be sailing to seven different islands over the next few days all of them are smaller more authentic Greek islands we actually got here late last night we docked the boat and slept here did a little bit of exploring but it, we are ready for our first full day first here's a quick little tour of the boat boat tour all right here's the outside we had a dining room table that we ended up eating a majority of our meals at and then when you walk inside to the left there is a full kitchen yes we had a stove and an oven here is our little living area there was a table here as well we ate some of our meals and did some work here and when you walk down the stairs you had two different bedrooms and bathrooms here is a look at my room the bed was honestly so comfortable and we don't have air conditioning but we did have fans above our beds which was really nice here is a look at the bathroom yes the toilets do flush and yes we did have a typical shower Sam's bedroom was directly across the hall and then on the other side of the boat there are two bedrooms and bathrooms that are identical for our captain and our hostess now I'm walking over to the back of the boat so that you guys can get a look at it this is a catamaran so we were able to sit on the front of the boat while we cruised from one destination to the next literally so much space to spread out and of course there is captain john's seat okay florence has got a little breakfast set up for us she made us some of this greek cake this morning looks so good we've got meats and cheeses and fruits which is pretty typical for greek breakfast and then over here she's got a full oh spread God. almond milk <laughs> coconut milk orange juice granola oh um oatmeal like they did all the grocery shopping for us um we were able to put in some of our favorites and then we just like paid one flat fee for the food for the week so super nice girls just ate brekkie we're getting ready to head out and explore our first island for a little bit agina we got here late last night like i said and we were able to do a little bit of shopping we got crepes but we haven't seen it during the daytime so we're about to head out i am wearing a fortunate one dress a lot of my stuff on this trip is going to be from here so i'll leave it linked down below and then my sandals are from steve madden and john our captain wants to say hi i just saw him peeking in hi. tell them how excited you are for our week together john i'm very excited you're very excited yes. is this the most exciting charter you've had this season Got it though. <laughs> Yes, it is. He's so excited. John told us yesterday that he sails with a lot of retired people, like older people. Um, they don't really get like younger clients like us, which is part of why Navigare hired us, is to get like the message out about this being an attainable option for younger people as well. So, I stopped and picked up my first postcards of the trip. I'm going to try to write postcards in each destination this time around. How pretty are these? I walked into this store called Salt because I saw this bag in the window and I was like, oh my God, I have to have that. And I was like, wow, it's only $33. And she was like, it's even on more sale for 28. My lucky number. I was like, oh my God, I have to get it. So cute. I would have spent like hundreds on that in Italy. I'm obsessed. Name of the store, come see her. doing a little shopping around. They've got so many cute stores, mostly with ceramics, straw bags, and gold jewelry here. 
the shopping in Greece is like literally phenomenal and what we are quickly learning here is that it is so much cheaper than shopping in like Mykonos or Santorini but it's all the same type of vibe we're also here in late October so it's end of season so pretty much everything is 50% off which is so nice They are known for pistachios here on this island. So there's like pistachios stands everywhere. You can get them just like regularly. They have got gelato. Sam got a pistachio crepe last night. It's really cool. We've made it to island number two, which is called Idra. It is literally stunning here. It reminds me so much of the Amalfi Coast. It's crazy. Wow. See the doggies. <laughs> All right, guys. We just docked and lunch is ready. Florence, tell us about what you made. <laughs> I made it. I made beef. Uh, I made the sauce, a sweet sauce with honey. Um, I made the Greek salad and some veggies. Yum! Thank you! Did you guys see how big this bowl of tomatoes and cucumber and feta was and how little of it is left? I just went for like sixths on this. Like I just stopped putting it on my plate and started eating it with a fork out of it. I don't know what it is about Mediterranean salad like that, but I think it's the best thing ever. Um, our food was really good. It's now, what time is it, Sam? 4.13. 4.13? Like, my concept of time is so messed up. Like, we only jumped forward two hours from London, but, like, I genuinely have no idea what's going on where. Well, I'm like, can I even post yet? Because, like, what time is it at home? Like, it's early for them. It's, like, It's, like, 9, 9 a.m., so. I'm like, is anybody even up? <laughs> it's 9 a.m. at home, but really the only person that I've communicated with in the last week is Mike, and it's, what time is it here? Four here, so it's. Literally six it's hours. literally six. He's ten hours behind right now, so it's just like it's like easier to just go twelve hours and count two. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. So we're dinging away from our boat, <laughs> Captain John. Wow. This is such a short distance in reality, but it feels so scary. <laughs> okay, we just dingied off, and now we're gonna explore. We are at the island of Hydra right now. It's like true Greek architecture here, and it's much smaller than even the last spot we were in, but it's literally a ghost town. There's no one here. It's such a great time of year to be here. It's still like 78, 80 degrees outside, but there's nobody here, so yeah. Anyways, more shopping, more exploring, and we're gonna hit the beach for a little bit. We've stumbled across some type of museum that's literally gorgeous, wow. I am just like blown away every corner I turn here. It is insane. Look at this restaurant. First dip into the water. It's definitely cold, especially because it's 5.30 p.m. and the sun's going down. The sun's going down at 6.40. So we're making the most of it.
We just swam down here for a bit and we met the sweetest couple from Texas that vacations here. They were so kind. And now we are watching the most unforgettable sunset. Like, holy cow. Okay, the sun went down. Gorgeous sunset. Sam and I are doing a little bit of shopping right now. She just bought some soap. Okay, yeah, all right, because the UK government didn't let me bring my soap here. <laughs> They had really strict oh God, rules this about. Like really this. They had really strict rules about liquids Ooh. in. Jesus. Where were we? Oh, when we were flying from London to Greece, so Sam had to toss her dove. So yeah. she just bought this, and it comes with a magnet on yeah, the outside. Yeah, so I of thought it. like this was cute because like, isn't that kind of cute? So I can put this on my fridge, and then obviously the soap in the shower. But cute. I, you know. We figured we would save the shopping for when it's dark because. You know, obviously we can't swim when it's dark, yeah. so we kind of are reversing it. Our hostess Florence asked us to get two magnets for her, one for her and one for her mom, so we're picking them out right now. We're debating. I kind of like that one. Yeah, that one has like a thing on it though, so maybe. I'm like, shoot, should I start collecting magnets again? Remember when I started at the beginning of the year, guys? We got the magnets and now we're getting sweet treats. We came to this gelato spot and I just got Biscoff cookies. So good. It's super cute. All right, guys, I just showered. Here's a little look at our shower. I washed my hair tonight. I had it slicked today, so it was time. And I just popped on new PJs I got from Brandy Melville. I love these like little boy short undie type of things. This is my sixth pair. They're literally the best. I'll wear them for like a couple of days and then I'll like swap out. Um, and then I just got one of their ribbed tanks as well. I have this one in like white and blue too. It's one of the best. Um, and I've got some of my skincare set out. I feel like it's been weeks since I've been in like a type of routine um, with all of this European travel. So I haven't really just like sat down and chatted with you guys as I get ready, which is so weird. But um I've been trying to keep up with my skincare on this trip. I've been using the Ordinary Retinol, which has 2% um, in it. I switched over from the CeraVe. Yeah, I ended up switching over my retinol just before this trip began. So about a month ago now, I had been using the CeraVe Retinol, which was like 0.5% um, to get my skin used to it. And then I just went up to 2%, which is the Ordinaries. And so far, so good. I've only been using it about two to three times a week. And then I'll like, slowly up it to every other day um they say like the higher percent you go the more your skin will freak out and i can kind of see that my skin's been breaking out a little bit but i've also been on like eight i think flights in the last three weeks so i do think that that is part of it as well um is just like my skin never really does well when i'm traveling on airplanes a lot but um, I put on the CeraVe moisturizer after that, and then the last thing I've used is the little Good Molecules Wake Up Eye Gel. I don't really know if this does much, but it keeps my under eyes hydrated, if nothing else, which they've been so dry. Everything in me has just been dry on this trip because, like I said, lots of travel. The one thing about the boat is that we don't have, like, all types of power, so we can't plug a hot tool in. We can't charge our computers. You can only um, charge using USBs. So that has been a little bit tricky because my hair is not super cute when it's air dried but I've been using the way leave-in conditioner this makes my hair so soft and it really helps detangle it I think we would be in the same pajamas <laughs> we actually have separate bedrooms yeah, I think my nipples out. <laughs> <laughs> of course <laughs> <laughs> we're headed to our respective beds sam is right across the hallway from me and then on the other side of the cabin there's like the exact same thing our captain is sleeping in one and then our hostess is sleeping in the other and sam and i on this side first time not sharing a bed in three weeks I don't know with if anyone ever traveled and not shared one besides like maybe once feels good to have my own room yeah, everybody it's really nice actually to have some you know Good night! Good, Good night. morning! Good morning, guys! We're up and at them this morning. We left at like 7.30 this morning. We are on our way to the next oh, island where we're going to be stopping and spending quite a few hours swimming, I believe. So we're looking forward to it. Charged the drone up last night. Ready to rock. And we're eating breakfast right now. We've got eggs, these little baby hot dogs, bacon, avocado which is mixed with banana and apple interesting and we've got bread comment do you like hard-boiled eggs i don't really know many people that do and sam 
likes them and says that it's really normal to like them, but I don't know anyone that likes them. I don't know. I just think like I always knew people that did. I think they're just like the least messy way to eat it. Like if somebody's like going to work or like you're meal prepping or something like that. Don't look <laughs> okay, today we are going to an island called Montevasio, but first we are at this little port to swim. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh, you guys. Like, I've never seen anything like this. It's crazy. The water is so, so, so blue. Girls are taking some thirsties. <laughs> Sam looks so good right now. Um, iconic moment. We're on the boat right now. Florence is up there laying out. Woo! Florence, you gotta let us take a viral Instagram photo of you. What? We gotta take a viral Instagram photo of you. Whatever. You look iconic right now. Should, should you give me your phone and we'll take a picture of you? Yeah, no problem. <laughs> We've been jumping in and out of the water and it feels so good right now. It's like 78 degrees full sun and just really soaking it up. You can obviously jump off like any side of the boat, but we do have stairs on this side to make it like easier to get in and out, which has of course been awesome. And the water is literally so clear. You can see straight down. It's about 12 feet right now. Just hanging out on this island. Girls have got some grapes. wrapped up some pictures, some swimming, and now we are headed about two and a half hours to tonight's docking spot. It's gorgeous out right now. The mountains look so pretty. All right guys, came inside and I just took a shower, put on some makeup, and now Sam and I are going to sit here and get a little bit of work done. I've got some emails and things to do. Okay, docked the boat and Florence has got a little dinner ready for us. We did shrimp with a little bit of red sauce, cinnamon, pesto, feta, tomato, basil. Looks so good. Sam and I just cracked open a bottle of wine. Um, we've got some type of white, Greek white. It's pretty good actually. Cheers, bestie. And we're wearing matching dresses that Sam, of course, just spilled in. I know, guys. She's so mad at me. I'm so mad because like I was going to shoot that, so we're about to go try to get it out. Fingers crossed. This is tough. I just want us to be standing somewhere normal. I've been so bad about vlogging today, you guys. I'm sorry, but we've had such a great day. It's so beautiful out. Um, we finished up our dinner, poured ourselves some glasses of wine, and Sam and I are just hanging out on the boat watching the sunset. Just went down, and it's been happening really quick, actually. Like, it'll be a little bit, a little bit, and then all of a sudden, dark. Um, but it's just gorgeous here. We're gonna finish up this bottle and then we're gonna walk around explore a little bit We're kind of bummed because we're only here for a few hours We're leaving tomorrow at 7 30 a.m. To go to the next spot, um, which is four hours of sailing away but the good news is that After tomorrow we are down to like only an hour two hour boat rides between the next few places So we'll have less boat time and more land time to explore and things like that. So Stunning. Look at that moon. <laughs> okay, it's really dark right now. I guess this island doesn't really believe in street lights, so we're using the moon. Do you see that? That's the moon. The moon is guiding us. So that's like a cliff that drops down about 35 feet <laughs> into the water. <laughs> And we're walking uphill. We're walking to this cute little village. Yeah, but where now? We Down think. Here? I think through this. 
that's how you get here. We're walking through a cute little village. They told us to explore. Now I understand why they prioritized us going um, in the daylight yeah, versus like, after sure? the photos. Um, is because you can't really see a whole lot. But there's supposed to be a few restaurants and bars. The whole island's only a mile big. But people say this is their favorite, so here we go. It's all cobblestone here, and it's kind of reminding me of Florence. How narrow and windy the streets are. Dude, look at how many cats are outside of here. One, two, three, four. We just got gelato, I got cookies and cream in a cup, and Sam got sea salt and cookies and cream in a cone. How is it? It's so good. I had a couple of samples and it was the samples were really granular so I decided to just get one scoop but the cookies and cream is definitely softer. Mm -hmm. I like the salted caramel though because the caramel in it. I'm also like being a gelato snob after being in Italy. <laughs> I have issues you guys like I just finished the other gelato and then I was like kind of still want another one So we walked down the way and there's a much more authentic place You should come to this spot called Galera gelato if you ever find yourself here. They have house made flavors um, Which I know all about now that I've taken a gelato making class and I got biscuit Yum so Sam just looked it up and this town of Montevesia has 15 residents and we asked a store owner if that was accurate and she was like, yeah, it is. We all live in the village across the way, but only 15 people live on the actual island. So obviously had to get a little magnet to commemorate my time. I've restarted my magnet collection on this trip, I decided got my postcards like 15 people what we're walking home and it was cool there's not a whole lot to do but there were a lot of quaint little restaurants that reminded me of Italy we ate lunch at 6 p.m. which is really called dinner um, so we didn't eat here but it was super cute seemed like there were good spots and now we're walking back to the boat Sam goes I really like living on a boat I think I could do it for a long time <laughs> We Maybe like it. The There's something really, really comforting, A, about coming back to the same spot like every single night after being in a different hotel like every three days for the last 20 something, A, but B is just that like being on a boat is like so fun. It's like being in a motorhome but in the water, which is so fun. Can I tell you my thought process? My thought process is right now the housing market is crazy and you guys know I'm from Jersey and I just think like maybe getting a boat at the Jersey Shore and docking it just would be so fun because you can take your friends on there like during the day and then like it's just so expensive to buy anything there anyway right now that I'm like maybe a boat for a few years is the answer guys. Yeah but the thing is you have to find a boat that's... Well I know boats are expensive but don't get me wrong I do know that <laughs> but I don't know I just think it might be something different to look into in the next few years I'm not saying I got that so, cash money to buy a boat today. Where we are oh show us your fish! Ah! Hi. <laughs> Hi! So where we are, you guys, um, we're ported right now and there's literally only four other boats here. Like this is our little community right here. Okay, okay, time to take a shower. It makes so much noise when you take one because this like little ring around here is a drain. And it's flushing this water out into the back of the boat. Sam and I have been here. Whoa, that was loud. Sam and I have been here in our matching pajamas talking about boys and how awesome our year together has been. Mm -hmm. um, for the last couple of hours, we've been coming up with a little bit of a shot list full of inspo for upcoming, well, for the week. Oh, yeah. It's funny because a lot of the inspo was just previous photos of myself. Um, <laughs> but we've got some ideas for. Upcoming bathing suit content, the drone, all kinds of good stuff. And we're getting ready to get after it. We are headed to, what's the island called? Spetsis. Spetsis. Tomorrow morning at 7.30 a.m. So we will catch you guys then. Good morning, everybody. Sam's phone kapooied this morning, like literally dead won't turn on just two girls in the middle of the ocean and that's what happens like are you for real we're for real anyways um florence just made me an amazing looking omelet this morning which i'm so excited about it's got peppers in it cheese some eggs and we've got the full spread again so we finished up breakfast and now we've moved part of the spread i have to scream so you can hear me <laughs> um i've moved part of our breakfast 
is outside. Sam and I have matching sets on from Fortunate One. A lot of the clothes from this trip are from Fortunate One. Super cute wow. brand. And they hired me because my post with them went viral. So we're gonna take some pics right now. And we're about an hour away from the swimming spot. We got the shot, guys. I'm eating yogurt parfait right now. They have this granola on the boat, and it's so good. It's Kellogg's Red Berries, and it's delicious. So, anyways, I'll insert that shot here. If you're not following me on Instagram, you're missing some fire content right now. Oh yeah. Um. But yeah, just we brainstormed a bunch of ideas yesterday, so we're really excited to dock the boat, do some swimming, do some jumping, do some droning. We didn't have the drone yesterday charged up, so today we're ready to rock and roll. Made it to the island, and the girls are taking some pics before we hop in. Sam's wearing a bathing suit from Hollister today. I am wearing a sexy black one piece from Katomi. Fun fact, this was the very last thing that I threw into my bag. I didn't think I was gonna be wearing swimsuits this trip, which is so stupid because we're literally sailing on a boat. But I don't know, I just thought it was gonna be a lot colder because when I was in Mykonos this time last year, it was like freezing cold wind, like actually 15 degrees colder. Um, but yeah, we're getting some pics, it's gorgeous out. It's giving more lake vibes over here because we're in a bay, but there's a bunch of other boats. That's a Navigare boat. John is over there like taking the little kids for a spin. Sam and I are snapping some pics and then about to hop in. We're in about seven feet deep of water right now and you can see straight down, straight down to the bottom. Can you see those rocks? No duck. Mamma Mia. All right, we're gonna film some Mamma Mia TikToks and jump in. Should I full send it right now for this? Sure. Oh. <laughs> it's salty, you guys. Getting ready to swim, dive in. Look at the water, oh my gosh. I look so scary, you guys. We just jumped in the water like at least 25 times. And I think we got a cool picture that I'll leave here. The water's so nice here, it's cool, it's refreshing. Look at John, he's running away from us. <laughs> Anyways, I did not launch the drone yet. I'm like scared to use it, but I think I'm gonna try because we have about 20 more minutes left. So let's see if we can put her to use. I got it going, you guys. Um, I have a DJI Mini Pro 3 and it's like basically a video game. Like I honestly think that the reason why guys like drones so much is because the controller is literally just like playing a video game. Like if you played video games, you'd be automatically 10 times better. But I just took a little bit of footage. I didn't really get horizontal footage, mostly vertical, um, so that I could use it in reels and stuff like that. But I'm excited. Um, the batteries only last 30 minutes. So, and when you're like over water, you have to bring it in early. So it's like, you don't get a whole lot of filming time, but you really only need like seven, eight seconds for a reel anyways. But yeah. Woo. All right, I, I did it. My first time over water. I'm gonna go take a shower now, rinse off, because we are about 20 minutes from land getting ready to get out and explore another. Okay, I've been washing my hair every single day on this trip just because I've been in the salt water and it's so salty here, but I just did my makeup. Not sure what that little patch is on me. And I can see that Florence is cracking open a bottle of wine and making us some lunch slash dinner. What do we got today, Florence? Well, we've got chicken with uh, brown rice, mm. with pesto because you, I think she knows you like we it. like it. <laughs> <laughs> with some olive and many, many more Greek things. Greek things. <laughs> okay, Florence plated up our food: chicken pesto, brown rice. Let's see how she is. We've got some pretty basil on top. Got a salad. Sam's got a bottle of red wine. She said that after the day she's had, we needed to crack into it. Not that jumping off the boat 30 times today was a hard day, but she's feeling stressed about her phone. If any of you guys have ever had a phone die like that, you know the 
not only is it stressful but it's really stressful when it happens when you're out of the country at a time like this and like it's not just a normal trip where like if yeah. we were in London, we could have gone to a store. Like, we're on a village of, like, a hundred people. Yeah. And I just feel like it's, like, imagine going to a work conference and everything being on your laptop <laughs> and, like, just not having it. Like, that's kind of what it feels like because it's, like, I want to be able to yeah. do things. But, but it's okay. okay. We're going to make the most of it. So, yeah. Living in the moment. Getting ready to go out on the town and do a little bit of exploring and maybe a little bit of shopping, maybe get a drink. We don't really know yet. We're going to see where the night takes us. Today I'm wearing a blue dress from Fortunate One. Sandals are from Target and this bag is from Sheehan. Same gold jewels as usual. Hair is looking super, super puffy because I haven't been using heat on it, but yeah, let's get after it. Right where you get off the port, there's like palm trees on this island and all this architecture. It's kind of reminding me of the south of France. It's giving very much Nice. Anyways, we're just walking to explore, see what we come up with. All of the menus are written like this here because it's not a touristy place at all. We're in Spetsis right now and it's mostly just an island of locals they said there's a few hotels here but it is low season right now anyways so there's not a whole lot open a lot of the greek islands we're learning have pistachio trees so pistachio is really popular here like i said so i'm getting pistachio parfait and gray vanilla which the owner just told me to trust in a cone it looks so good Try. yay i didn't taste this either so we'll see so good. I, when you've actually been eating gelato every single day for like 30 like, days. I like really tried to get in shape for this trip and like everything that I did to get ready for this trip is already gone. It's already so down the drain. Days. We just came across, everything. we came across this little elliptical in the middle of the cutest like, little area. Is like making it so this little village is so cute. This church is just gorgeous. We've got the sunset coming in over here. Beautiful, beautiful night here. The water here is so clear, it's unbelievable. It's super rocky right here. We're just walking around the old town right now. It is 10 o'clock. I've been lounging in bed for like two and a half hours now. I don't even know what I've been doing because I was supposed to be posting Instagram stories, an Instagram post, and a TikTok, and I've in a reel, and I've done none of it. Literally, I haven't posted one story. I've just been sitting here. Um, I can't stop wearing this American Eagle boyfriend just button up so sexy I don't have a boyfriend so I just wear this and pretend and then my pants are from boohoo I got these um, they're actually called pajama pants and I got them because I really like I liked them and I thought they'd be good for Europe and I've worn them every single day since we've been in Greece so don't come here without bringing linen pants um, but yeah I'm trying to muster up some motivation Rise and shine, everybody. Florence has got some breakfast out for us. And so we've got like a bunch of pastry type of things today. This new bread I'm excited to try. Mmm. It's good. Some toast. And I'm gonna have some yogurt. I had this yesterday and it was so good. High protein. town here is so pretty and we got here last night like as the sun was kind of going down so I was able to take the drone out this morning and get some good footage so 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 pretty um, I did this while Sam is getting ready for the day so time for me to go get dressed and change out of these cash clothes. okay so the other day I wore this blue dress from Muddy Love but we couldn't get any good pics in them so we're putting them back on today and attempting to snap a photo in this cute little village before we get out of here the starfish earrings are old Shein I was able to pop some crimps in my hair and honestly it doesn't look that different from how my natural hair has been drying so probably wasn't even worth the heat but 
Yeah. Wandered over to these cute little blue doors that we found yesterday. This little square was so cool last night. My camera was dead, but like there were literally kids having like kickball practice. There was the band practicing, like yeah. literal high school band, like kids just running around. So it seems like this is like the after school hangout area. It reminds me so much of the French Riviera right here, but we're shooting some pics. So if we get a yeah. cute one, we'll leave it here. But it's so funny. Like I feel like this area is like, when you would go to like a soccer field or a football field when you were younger and all your friends would hang out like that's this for that's them the vibe which is so here. interesting ciao everybody we are back on the boat after a little exploring session photo session this morning just put on a bathing suit Hi. how cute is this blue and white it looks um thank you it's from shein we're about to head over to today's swimming spot. We are done with the really long rides. From here on out to get from island to island, we only have about an hour and a half max of sailing, which is kind of nice. Okay, we've made it to our little swimming spot today. It's kind of similar to yesterday. There's a couple of other boats just hanging out here. They've got kids paddle boarding around, but we've got like a little cliff. and then a small little village up there. Then on this side, they've got a little village too. It was supposed to be completely cloudy today. It's a little hazy, but honestly, not too bad. Um, Sam and I have our computers out here on the catamaran side and are just laying out, getting some work done. Tough Wednesday on the job, am I right? Hey guys, okay, Sam and I are taking some shots right now in my cute little tassel bathing suit. We're just doing a little bit of variety every single day we're doing like kind of the same shots but just different vibes if that makes sense so like different swimsuit different sunglasses today uh, but the background is just as beautiful as we are but yeah cracker open let's fucking be so can we like can we just pick one like off the top okay my biggest pet peeve on dates what is something you wish you could unlearn okay if you could make one legal thing illegal what would it be Florence brought us a little snack board. We've got a lot of these toasts with different things on them. Okay, so what's the most embarrassing thing you've ever done? Okay, Sam and I are playing this game called Let's Fucking Date. And it's a card game that just basically asks you a bunch of questions. And if you know me, like my dinner setting scene slash like my vibe on dates is just like playing question games like this. Sam just asked me what's the most embarrassing thing I've ever done on a date. So I don't really know if this is considered a date, but on New Year's Eve, I went to Kent specifically to see Mike. And we went to dinner together at Applebee's. He really wanted Applebee's. Like he was like, I'm craving Applebee's, Mackenzie. And I was like, okay. And I have vlog footage of this night. I'm like, if I can dig it up, I'll put it up. I want to do karate before I die. <laughs> what do you want to do before you die, John? No, I need to do karate because of how much we travel. And he's like, I want you to be able to fight someone. Before I die? Yeah. I need to relax. He wants to relax. Are you not relaxed being on this boat for sitting still for three hours? <laughs> I can't stop eating, you guys. I'm having cheesy yeah, crackers. Like a bird. Like you're you're such a healthy eater, is what I realized. That I eat in moderation. And you eat pretty healthy stuff. Like you like omelets with veggies and like see like I feel like I like really fatty foods. Like I like fatty foods too, but we're obviously on a different situation on the boat this week. Anyway, Sam and I are still playing this game. We are sailing now to our port tonight, which is about 45 minutes away. Most of the time that we've been sailing, we've been like kind of choppy or we've been doing work, but this is the first time we're just like laying out, yeah, it's nice doing whatever. Time. It's nice out right now. And we've gotten a lot of great footage and stuff for the company, so now we're just kind of hanging out, doing the thing. Talking about bucket lists. our destination and it's gorgeous same type of villagey vibes um, and views as we've had this one's a little bigger um, Florence is making us some dinner right now we've got a little Mediterranean salad we've got some tomato some cucumber 
olives, peppers. This was my request. We had it the other day. It's the best. So yummy and fresh. And then over here, Florence has made some mussels, mm -hmm. which I've never had, and some noodles. Yum, pasta. And colorful. Colorful noodles. What kind of sauce is this, Florence? Red? It's red with basil, a little chili. Mm. Uh, I put also some uh, oli uh, olives. I put this bay one leaves. It's a plant. All right, here's our meal, courtesy of Florence. Yay. All right, we're eating with our skipper, our captain. Are they coming? Are they coming to the bay or no? They're just going to pour us. I don't know. Oh yeah! Hey! I think a lot of people think that that's the kind of grease experience we're having, but really we just sit at this table Guys, and we've just been talking like all. We've been sitting at this table eating cheese and carbs and drinking this wine, and it's been amazing. It's been so good, but like I'm not. It's been a very low key. I haven't seen another person my age besides Mackenzie and like and Florence since we boarded this ship, which is fine. I enjoy their company so much but we're, it's not like we're ragers we're getting ready to whoa, whoa, whoa. we're okay, getting we're getting on. ready to go seek out a gelato a postcard and a magnet it's gonna be a wild night <laughs> <laughs> sam and i came to greece and all we do is ice cream mackenzie and i went to greece and literally all we did was eat gelato <laughs> all right today i got cookies and I got milk caramel. These guys our age like started talking to us while we were eating gelato and how we just started like chatting with them. Like it's so random. Where in Switzerland were you? Huh? Where in Switzerland? In the, in the center. No way. That's where my family's from. What? My family's from there. Yes? You, you don't stay in America. It's your friend. Is it her? No, how did you came here? Mackenzie told this boy that I'm from Switzerland. We're on a yacht. I don't know. <laughs> so, we're from Switzerland now. There's shopping on this island. Sam and I are excited. We're getting matching anklets we wanted to get them sooner in the trip but there hasn't really been places to shop at the other islands so we got this little guy right here the word bitch was used five times <laughs> in the process of choosing one what did she say? <laughs> i said we got matching friendship bracelets the word bitch was used five times in the process so as you can tell we're real ones and like one percent of us are coming from america i was like i will she was like who thinks they can come and i was like i don't care which one my schedule will be there in two years we didn't get postcards yesterday they didn't have any so today i just picked up a generic grease one to write about yesterday and then i also picked up one from the island that we're on right now which is different than we thought it was called it's Arami armiani <laughs> sam and i keep joking because we're like people think we're like turning up in greece and like she just looked at me and said what time is it i said 8 40 she goes all right well we bought a gelato we bought postcards we got an ink let's go <laughs> No, like actually, these villages that we're in are so small that it's like there's it's literally so cool one main strip see, like, it's really cool local. like it's so cool to see local life like this but like when you think going to greece this is so not what you're probably picturing we're back home we just sat out on the like little front of our boat for a little bit talking with john and florence we've spent like pretty much the whole day with them which has been really nice just hearing more about greece and things like that it's now 9 30 and i am in my room downloading drone footage this trip I have downloaded like more footage every single day than I ever have before like every day I'm clearing off all my memory cards um, just to get like the latest latest content and things like that so that I can post in live time so yeah sorry for being I'm so sorry for being so behind on YouTube you guys like this is the longest break I've ever taken on YouTube um, since I started four years ago so I like I deeply apologize but I just like don't know how else I would have kept up with it on this type of trip so I miss you guys and I can't wait to be back home and like in a routine if you guys have kept watching throughout all of this thank you I love you and I promise I'm gonna settle down and be a normal vlogger soon good morning guys 
this. My skin looks like shit. What else is new? Anyways, um, it's Thursday morning here on the boat. And it is unfortunately very dreary and starting to rain a little bit. We've had great weather this whole week though, so can't really complain. We're hoping that our hour ride to the next island will be calm and that possibly we'll have a little more sunshine there. So fingers crossed. Sam and I are just hanging out in the cabin, just getting some work done. Florence is about to make us some breakfast. Yay! When I was young, you guys, I would eat Greek yogurt every single day and I haven't eaten it in like literally years, but I've been eating it here and it's so good, especially because it's like obviously from here. I've been eating this like raspberry one. 15 grams of protein in that and then I'm eating this granola. I ate my omelet. The lighting in this cabin is so good all the time. It's yeah. crazy. We're boating over to our final stop, which is Poros and it is choppy today, man. This is definitely like the oh my most. God, look at that though. It's definitely the most. Crazy. It's definitely the most up and down that we've had um, since we've been here. It's just really rough waters today. Like, look at this boat. I don't know if you can really tell like how much it's moving, but it's rocking back and forth. I wonder if that's what we look like. So I'm working on my postcard collection right now as we move. I, as you guys know, get two postcards everywhere I go. Um, I get one that I write on and in the little area where like you fill out the address, I will write the place that I was at, the date, who I was with and what the collab was. And then I'll just write like a little bit of about what our trip was and what we did. So I have Venice. Florence, I have two for just because we were there for quite a few days and I had a lot to say. Rome, Copenhagen, Sweden, London, Ireland, and then in Greece I decided to do one every single day because I've been feeling very emotional on this trip. Um, this has just been like a really out of body kind of week, like a very like, how is this my life? and I've just felt more gratitude this week than in the whole month combined, which is horrible to admit, but also like a great thing to admit because I feel like all month I've been like, wow, I can't believe this is my life and my job. But this week it's like hitting me like a literal bus. Like I'm like, oh my gosh. So I wanted to just kind of capture the different feelings and things that we've been doing in each of the destinations so i've got a bunch of postcards as you guys have been seeing i've been picking a couple up each night and i'm just filling them out with like what we've done and you know like i said all those things and i've got lots to do i'm a few days behind also i'm like a big diary journal writer but when i'm traveling i find it really daunting to write in it like at the end of the day it just feels like the last thing that i want to do but i do want to capture in live time how i'm feeling and like what i think about the places that i go to so sometimes postcards will be like really casual and then other times will be a little more intimate like i don't it's not i don't want people reading them but you know they're a little more personal and this is like an easier way like you you don't you can only write like one paragraph worth of stuff on a postcard you know so if you're someone that likes to journal but you can't keep up with it when you're on the road this is a good idea too my collection for this trip is big you guys coming home with a whole lot of stories we made it to poros just keeps getting better. This village is a lot bigger than the last few that we've been to, which I'm excited about. It looks like there's gonna be more stores, more to see, more restaurants, things like that. Okay, we've made it to Poros, and Florence has been so kind to put out a little lunch snack for us. Here's today's spread. We've got lots of little toasts. I forgot that as a kid, I used to love cream cheese with a layer of pesto. So Florence has put out quite a few of those, and I'm just so excited. Yum, grapes. These are so good, these little bananas. Okay, we're getting ready to head out and explore town. We're starting off in a little two-piece set from Fortunate One, and then the same sandals from Target. Sam and I haven't really spent a lot of time on land on this trip. We've been doing a lot more swimming and jumping off the boat than we 
expected. So we haven't really shot that many outfits, but we brought great looks for Greece. So we decided that today we're gonna try to like take some pictures on land. So I've got two other outfits packed up in the bag that I bought this week. It's such a great size. Do you love my new bag, John? John's watching me film. I love this bag. I'm so excited. I'm gonna bring this with me when I go to Punta Cana in December. That's the only other like long trip I have on the calendar right now and my computer will fit in here so i figured this would be like such a good bag but it's like trendy to carry around right now so yeah just picked up my postcards they had a little less tacky options here which i was happy about they have so many cute magnets here i love these little ones with the little shells and then they also have the recipe for greek salvaki greek salads tzatziki we haven't had any tzatziki on this trip or chicken salvaki but i think we're gonna go out for dinner tonight try it out we're starting to explore this little Greek village and there's all kinds of white and blue houses with the pink flowers. It looks a little more like Mykonos here. One night I was taking a walk along the river. <laughs> Alright, I'm taking some pics of Sammy Girl. Still no phone, so we're working. The Day three, no that. phone, guys. This is a <laughs> detox, alright. <laughs> so John and Florence told us that you have to see the clock here and we originally were going to see it at sunset but we but we were wandering over here and we saw the signs towards it so we were like well we might as well check it out right now it's entirely uphill I'm gasping for air especially after a week of doing literally nothing on a boat oh my gosh look like, holy cow, you guys, this is crazy. We made it up to the top of the clock and I am feeling like the luckiest girl in the world. Like, wow. Okay, my I've revived my magnet collection on this trip and I've gotten ones on all the stops and I got one at all the stops besides two. And I got these little baby ones because they don't take up as much space. And I really like the ones that show what each port looks like. And they're $1.50, so it feels like an easy, easy little thing to get on each trip. Thank you. One thing I really wish I could collect is shot glasses, but because they're glass, I feel like they're just impossible to get home, so I've never gotten them. How cute are these little boats though? We're shopping around looking for something for Phil. And Phil is Sam's boyfriend, as you guys know. I know. Okay. I kind of like it like that. What is oh. Phil like? Oh, um, I don't know. I'm Let me see. Trouble. So this is um, from <laughs> French to Greek instead of English to Greek. There is English to Greek. So pretty much all of the towns that we've been in, right along the marina where all the boats are docked, are all kinds of stores and restaurants and gelato spots. A lot of them have the same type of stuff, like just magnets, postcards, jewelry, collectibles. Not a lot of them are very different, but they're still fun to pop in and out of. I've been on the hunt for a straw bag this whole week. I know I bought the little woven one, but we're getting down to it and I haven't seen too many. The shopping here on these islands is definitely very different than when we we were in Mykonos, so shopping was definitely better there, but overall, I think I like this experience better. This bag is so We cool. shot one other quick outfit, but unfortunately, we've got really dreary skies and a little bit of rain starting, so I think we're not going to be able to shoot as much as we were hoping today, but we're still making the most of it, walking around, shopping. I really like this town. There's a lot more to do here. Um, it's a little bit bigger, a little more lively, and there's quite a few boats still. The woman just said that they close for the season next week, first week of November. So this one stayed open a little bit longer than some of the others. We're back on the boat for dinner. Florence has made lemon chicken. Oh, look at the guacamole. All right, we've got some pasta going on lemon pasta with chicken. I'm not really sure what this sauce and what the guacamole is for, but I know that Florence brought it out, so we'll keep you updated. Just 
poured up a glass of wine. We really have only had like one glass of wine at dinner each night, but tonight we figured maybe we'd go out and get a couple cocktails. I'm not sure why, but on the dead last day here, we decided to start using the speaker, which was so stupid of us. But anyways, we just launched the drone. We had a gorgeous pink cotton candy sky. I got some photos, some videos, cracked open the bottle of straws, wine. It's not that good. We just walked across the street to get it. Not a huge fan, but it's not really yeah. Just got my seventh gelato of the week. I haven't gotten a cone at all this week and this cone is so stale that I'm like regretting not getting a cup so bad. It's a bummer. Network. I watch it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> That's some local spot. Say hi, John. Hi, John. Hello. Family caring. After the morning, I start to go. We're at a traditional restaurant. Family style. Steak, French fries, tzatziki, like all kinds of stuff. And they give you your wine in these little shot glasses. Cheers. <laughs> Tonight made me wish we had gone out every single day to experience the true Greek experience, John. So John. It was so fun. That you'll watch my big fat Greek wedding. You We're headed that. home now. It, it's, it's a big I'm drunk. Guys, I'm gonna miss living on a boat so much. Like, I want to do this again ASAP. We just, Sam and I are like, we have to bring our families on something like this yeah, together. It will be like so, so fun. Soon, so okay. soon. Like, this is amazing. You have to book like, this. Book and link down below. <laughs> I would do this like at least once every six months. I think booking link and book John. <laughs> Ask for John. Jonas. Jonas. <laughs> <laughs> to today's swimming spot. John, tell us where we are. I don't know. Yes, you do know. You just told us. We are in Klima. Klima Bay. Klima Bay. Yes. Which is on the other side of Agina. Exactly. Which is where we were the first day, which was Sam and I's favorite town. There's a beach club right here, but it's closed right now because it's off season, but you can actually see the shore. Like we could probably swim to shore if we wanted to. Um, but yeah. We're just hanging out on the back. Florence is making us some breakfast right now. We're having a feast because we have lots of food left. The grocery shopping was done if, as if this was a full boat and it's not a full boat. So we have lots to eat still. Look at Florence making us, making <laughs> us some bacon. Yay. Yay. I have to steal one. Mm -hmm. mm. These little hot dog sausages are so good. They've got some toast too. Another omelet today. Florence has got bacon and sausages, cheese. We've got some toast, hard boiled eggs for Sam, and of course, a priceless view. Got a big fat omelet this morning. 
<laughs> Today is our last full day on the boat. We are sleeping today at the port that we started on and then tomorrow morning at like 10, 11 a.m. we check out our captain and our hostess, John and Florence, go home tonight. They don't like have to stay with us on the boat. But yeah, we're looking forward to it. We've got about five hours of beach time right now, which is so exciting. I just went in for my first little dip and I'm just laying out on the back of the boat, getting some sun. The UV has been about like five every day this week. So getting just a little bit of color, but it just feels so good outside. The sun is shining, it's like 78 degrees. shots with both of us. I've been getting a lot more confident in my drone abilities this week, but um, we're out of battery, so we're done. We're just hanging out now. Are you gonna do it? Yeah. Look at this. This one's... No. You said you are gonna make it on work. Ah. I come bearing gifts. Today has been the absolute perfect Such last day. day. Like, you know how some trips the last day is like kind of anticlimactic? This was one of those trips that the last day was like, ugh, I don't want to go home. Pulling the anchor up, we're getting ready to leave. We're sailing back to Athens now. John ended up putting our sail up, so now we're sailing. It's so fun. And I'm like laying on the side of the boat so I can get the last bit of sunshine. This has been just the best week of my life. Wow. Mackenzie's been playing like Luke Combs and what? A lot of Eric Church, a lot of Morgan Wallen, yeah, like a lot of Morgan, Lee Bryce, Luke Holmes, Riley Parker Green. McCollin. <laughs> I would McCall. say his name right, McCollum. I came up here to sit with Sam. We're up by John, our captain. It's so much warmer up here. I should have been laying up here the whole time. Yeah, it's nice. Ooh. I like this song. I want to know what this is. Do they have like chairs up top? They're like bean bags. We're getting closer. So next year we'll be coming to visit John again. Last lunch with Florence. We've got noodles and some kind of beef that looks good. Okay, when you get back to the port, if you end up doing a charter like this, you end up paying the docking fees and you end up paying to refuel the boat. When you fuel the boat, for our week, it was $820 and you pay with card. But your docking expenses, like each night to be at a port, you pay like a small fee. You need cash for that and John didn't tell us that before so we were able to make it work but I just want to tell you guys in case you are planning on doing a charter with Navigare you need cash at the end of the week so speak to your skipper beforehand and figure that out but we still had the best week best week John <laughs> leave us John don't leave us we just took a family photo I'll put it right here insert the family photo here we have to come back we'll see you next summer Guy's really showing up and out for us this last night on the boat. <laughs> okay, John and Florence have left us and it's just Sam and I now. We are running around the cabin grabbing things because we have stuff in legit every corner of this house, uh, or of this boat. <laughs> Feels like a house. So just kind of packing up. We just took showers. We're gonna watch Mama Mia tonight. Um, Sam is in here. She brought just a carry-on for this trip. So she's like desperately trying to fit everything she owns into, into this backpack and this bag. And she's like sitting on it and like, you know, we're just hoping for the best. My suitcase is all dirty, but it will be underweight. Morning thankfully. guys. It's Saturday and it's our last morning on the boat. 
slept great last night. I was like, what is that light as I was going to bed? And I looked up and out of my port window, there was a full moon. I slept under a full moon on a boat. How cool. What is going on out there? Anyways, it was just an epic, magical end to such a perfect week. I'm making myself a little Greek yogurt and granola bowl right now. Writing my last two postcards of the trip. I'm all packed up, you guys. This pink suitcase has been through hell and back this month. And just doing a walkthrough of our boat, making sure we have nothing left. This was the window to my bedroom that I was telling you guys I saw the full moon out of. So cool. It is so nice out right now. I wish we could stay here all day, but unfortunately we do have to check out of here at 11. Um, like I said, Sam and I's flights aren't until tomorrow. Mine leaves at 6 a.m. So we just got a hotel um, near the Athens airport and are just gonna hang out there. I would have loved to see the Acropolis and stuff today, but with Sam not having a phone and it being kind of far away, we're just gonna take it easy today at the hotel, I think, but wow. I just, I know I've said it a million times in this vlog, but like I just, I'm suffering a severe case of like a girl syndrome. Thank you guys so much, like truly from the bottom of my heart because you guys are the reason that this is possible. So, love you. So, Navagare does have a private shuttle that can take you to and from the port. The port is called Agios Mios and to get here from the airport was 70 euros to book through that, but we realized it's only 40 euros if you just book a taxi through Uber. So we're taxiing over to our hotel for the night and getting ready to leave. We will be back soon. Like this is one thing I definitely would love to make this an annual thing. If I'm lucky enough to do that, then God bless. We're staying at a comfort stays that's right near the airport. It's really cute in here. It's like actually like very personal and the outside is adorable too. Look at these cute little old people reading. They just checked out. I know, they made me happy. We're in a very residential area right now. We don't really know if there's anything around us. I mean, we don't have much to do today besides just to sit and start editing and like things like that. Um, we gave ourselves this buffer day because we weren't really sure of we weren't really sure, like, we weren't really sure of anything, like how the checkout process worked and like we didn't want to risk putting ourselves in a timely situation with getting home to the airport. Are you guys seeing this right now? We were working for like a few hours and now it's 4.15 and we're hungry. We're ready to eat and I was like, okay, I put in the nearest restaurants. There's three that are half a mile walk away and the others are like on the highway and we just didn't want to take a cab and deal with that. So it's taking us there and apparently Google Maps registers the dirt roads too. Like I'm getting flashbacks to Tulum walking yeah, through this. I have like no service, we're just going off of vibes. Hopefully this is an authentic Greek spot. I think it will be because we're in like a neighborhood right now. There's also a pizza spot, but I really want the Greek spot to be open. Like I want tzatziki, I want tzatziki so bad right now. I have two euros left, two euros and 30 cents left. So I'm at the store trying to figure out which snack to get for tomorrow. I'm debating between these and this Biscoff cookie chocolate bar. I'm sure neither will be great options at 2 a.m. Oh, I could get this kind of chips, Sam. There was only two restaurants near us. The Greek place was closed. So we got, we went to this pizza spot and there was so much on the menu. We got like everything. <laughs> I got hungry on my walk here, <laughs> but I got a six inch pizza which has barbecue chicken. It also had mushrooms on it. I don't really like mushrooms on it, so I just took them off, but there was also fries. As you can see, I only have uh, one left. And then this is a chocolate filled pastry. It's hot, it's so good. It's got like Nutella in it. This little box was $8.40, yum. Our pastries were so good. Oh my God, we ate so much. <laughs> like so much. I feel disgusting. Like I can't wait to go home and like get back into a routine and start eating better and go to the gym. But we ate amazing. 
we drank amazing, we saw amazing, we did amazing, all the things on this trip. Um, so yeah, just editing some pictures. We just watched Mamma Mia. It's like 9 p.m. now. I'm gonna head to bed. Off to the airport bright and early tomorrow morning. So this is goodbye. I don't know when the next time I'm gonna see Sam is. I'm sure I'll see her before the end of the year, but this is goodbye for now, Remy. Bye. Bye. Uh, we decided that like we're definitely making this sailing thing an annual thing. Hell yeah. Um, so we will be back and just none of this could be possible without you guys. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. If and mine. If Miami, us, like two years ago, two years ago, yeah. could see us now, like two and a half, we'd bro. be like, what? Like Sam was like, it's so crazy that when I met you, you'd never been out of the country and now you've been at more places than anyone I know. And like, that's truly such a blessing. And like, I just feel so, so, so grateful for this month. It pushed me out of my comfort zone in a way I just never expected. Um, and I'm so mm -hmm. grateful for that. Good things come when you leave your comfort zone. So let that be an ode. I am going to end this vlog here. I'm actually going to take a couple of days off probably when I get back home to just kind of hit the ground running and get all my ducks in a row. So I will talk to you guys very soon. I'm sorry for vlogs being uploaded late, but we've had one hell of a month. Mm -hmm. Love you guys. Talk soon. Love you.